we go. Hello. Welcome back now to Flotsam. We got ourselves a, a happy-go-lucky group here. Things seem to be going relatively smooth. We are going to need more metal, of course. Still got some more salvageables. Water's still going strong. Where the hell did I get 30 points of research? I just reloaded the game. That's a bug. Well, fine then. I will capitalize on it. I mean, if, if the game wants me to. So... Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. I don't even know where that was because last time around when I played, I was playing or recording from a different day ago. I saved it, I, I, uh, I threw it in there, and then I had no research points pretty much, but when I come back I got 30. Man, that's a, that is a bug. But on the positive side, I can now make a big desalinizer. I need a lot of metal. I can make a little tiny water bottle that could be adorable, right? Oh, we could put it right here. I believe. And... Oh, we cannot. There you go. Uh, that's fine. More water will be made. Alright. Where's the metal at? Also to... Am I... Where, oh where is... Food? Uh, yeah. Quite a lot of food here. Where are all Okay, who how come no one's using the Grand Fisher? Also too, where's all my uh Where's all my things? Buoys. Yeah, there you go. We got quite a bit of fish to go get. Although we have quite a lot of food reserves now, which is pretty darn surprising. I'm guessing it's because of this guy. Yep. Yeah. So... Let's see. Hmm. Maybe we're okay on that, I guess. We can get these other five research points now. There you go. So I got another five. I just need uh, another five and then I'll have everything unlocked. Um, can I build? Nope, it requires a rope. There you go. Hmm. I guess throw one over here. At least get two doing that. Hmm. Yeah, I guess now we just need a whole lot of metal. We are going through our firewood like crazy. But we do have cooked fish. We have food. More water is being created. A lot of metal. A lot of piping. Hmm. Okay. I guess super fast speed. There you go. 
Brought in more fish. Yeah, just keep at it, I guess. Keep moving forward. <laughs> yeah, not to worry, this distiller will soon be switched out for a big desalinizer. But at least we have a tiny bit of water being made. Why would you ever want to turn this off? I don't understand that. <sighs> We're fine. We're honestly fine. Kind of, kind of sucks that we're making it so easy for ourselves because of a glitch. But, eh, I'm fine with that. Get to play, get to enjoy, get to unlock everything. Try and fully expand this out. I kind of like how I have it all set up too, it's pretty fun. Ah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, honestly, I think we only need one fishing boat, but eh, I might make a second. Let's do another rope. There you go. How are my buoys doing? Eh, we only got three more fishing spots. That's the reason why we're stocked up on food so well. <laughs> Soon all of this will be taken. And we are holding strong, I guess, with water. However, we do need bigger water uh, thing. So, we'll have to get that next. Hmm. Yeah, we're okay. How many people do I have on this? Two. I mean, after all, there's only two boats, so that makes sense. Alright, where should I plan my next high sea adventure? I've gone there, courtesy of the flags. I've been to the factory, I have yet to be the shack down. I could go Shack Town, Factory Ruins, Viaduct. That ought to work. <laughs> okay. I kind of wish, though, that my, uh, my system would be self sustaining after a while, but I don't know. It just would be kind of interesting, even coming to the point where you start seeing people on these islands and you'd be able to start traveling to them and just either giving them resources to start up trade and commerce 
But I think that would lose the feel of what they were trying to do here. Although, we are missing the seagulls as well. I've yet to see a seagull. Hey, more seaweed. Alright, yeah, I desperately need metal now. That's the thing. Hmm, interesting. So that's how the seaweed's done. Starts on one side and then it grows all the way to the other side. I'm surprised that you actually have these seaweed growers where you just completely rip them all out. You couldn't just keep trimming them. That way then you'd have self-sustainable seaweed. Still, we have yet to pull all that plastic. However, we have a lot of fish we're going through, so it's gonna be some time. Yep, only one more booby marker. Let's see. We got little things of uh, water in there. That's not bad. It definitely gets louder the closer you get to it. That's interesting the way that they did the sound. But yeah, back to super fast me. Reason why? I want them to get the stuff. Yeah, don't worry, once this person's done cooking, We'll be fine. Alright. I'm just gonna be. Oh. I just feel like waiting next to the. Waiting next to the fish. See who shows up. Anyone coming this way? So far, that's a no. Oh, wait, there you go. Set sail. And there you are. The last pot of fish. Quite a lot of fish, actually. That's more than 10. Just saying. But, meh. I do know that they were going overly abundant, but yeah. Just watch them fish. Uh, that was on normal speed. Jesus Christ. Okay, that explains why they get it done so quick. However, that was that was super fast fishing. That was something. It'd be kind of interesting if you could start, uh, if you had research to try and harpoon whales for both uh, meat as well as oil. Start going after them. Alright. No. Or seaweed soon, who knows. Oh, I think we're all out of the seaweed seeds. 
We got a lot of raw seaweed. And very, very little water. Okay, well, here's hoping they collect all the rest of the wood here because we're almost out of wood. Someone's doing the fire, someone's doing fishing, someone's doing cutting, and another person's cooking. So yeah, I guess that only leaves one person to go ahead and do all the gathering. I guess that means then I gotta get more people. Hmm. Hey, no worries. We got more wood. Start throwing it on there. Start drying it. Start doing all that jazz. We'll be good to go. There you go. As soon as we get wet wood, it just instantly gets thrown straight onto a drying rack. I love it. Alright. The golden flounder's full. Uh, you are fourth of the way. And... Yeah, okay, so you... Not bad. Still got quite a bit of space. So we, at least we could gather all that wet wood. Uh, perpetually having someone cooking that's also something as well as also someone cutting up wood I mean we could we could go ahead and sort of turn this off for a little while I mean we are very good on food now I mean very good on food the well, next best thing that we can do is just start having it to where people are traveling out, get this water so we can start traveling to get metal. Because we need more pipes. Is it just pipes and metal? Let's see. Oh, we need uh, another thing of screws. And then we're all good on this. And then the last thing would be desalinizer. Yep, so a lot of metal. I guess while we're at it, throw one more screw and then six more pipe. There we go. We'll have it all set up. Alright. How are we doing over here? Ooh. Okay. Oh yeah, he's, he's cooking as fast as I can. Or she is. Hello. Yeah, she is. Hmm. Well, she's gotta go rest after all that cooking. She definitely works hard. Yep, low on water. Gotcha. Don't worry, I'm gonna make a giant desalinizer soon. We just need to get all this water, and then I can go, or all this wood, and then I can go. There you go. Just keep on throwing it all in there. <laughs> People are just traveling everywhere, just supporting each other. I love it. I like the fact that you don't really have to worry so much about these guys, and you could just have them basic, and they'll still do pretty much everything. It's nice to actually have them do one specific task, but I'm very happy that this isn't like um, Oxygen Not Included where they start acting stupid. No, these guys are working hard. That's the one thing I'm happy about. Someone's always on water, someone's always chopping, someone's cooking as soon as fish needs to be cooked. It's great. Wow, I got 58 nibble fish. Not bad. Not bad at all. Honestly, though, I wish this guy would just load up a boat, dock it, 
go load up another boat, go dock it, and then hopefully someone just starts grabbing all the Hello. stuff. Hello. There you go. All right. Yeah. Hmm. There you go. Keep loading up with more wood. I like the fact also too, I didn't even ask them to do organization. And it's like, this is dry wood and this is wet wood. Like it's, it has some of the exact same stuff. I love it. I love it. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> I barely see anyone sleep, really. I guess they get so much sleep so quickly, it's just kind of surprising. people off. Ooh, now we got two people doing it. There you go. Awesome. How much more of this do we have left? Hmm. We could double up. Why not? That works for me. Yeah, we did pretty well here. I guess this is a good time to end it right here. Ah, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Yeah. I'm surprised though about that research thing. That is that is a bug, but eh, it helps me out. It helps to unlock all the stuff in here. One last thing to unlock. What are you going to do after the research points? I don't know, but... Eh, either way. Thanks so much for anyone checking out Flotsam. Hopefully you're liking my little floating village. <laughs> Thanks again. Have a good one. See you later. Thanks for watching Flotsam. I hope you like it. And if you're liking it up, subscribe. Check out a few of the other videos I got. Either way, have a good one. See ya.